What's up? So, Mr. Aikens over at What's on the Comic Rack, awesome channel by the way, if you haven't subscribed to him, go show him some support, he does some awesome videos. He tagged me in a community tag video and he gave me a personal challenge directed right towards me. Uh, my top five favorite She-Hulk cover, you guys know me, you know I'm a big She-Hulk guy. Uh, so I got me a little stack of books here that I want to talk about uh, that are She-Hulk books and She-Hulk related that I, I want to talk about and tell you why I like these books. And this is the part of the video where I'm supposed to do the tags. Now when I'm doing these tags for the people who are watching that might be seeing these tags, uh, you don't have to do She-Hulk specifically, I know that's very specific. Do whatever you like, whatever one of your favorite characters is. Um, do like one of the like your top five favorite co uh, covers or your top five favorite books that you own of like this for example so if you're a big Superman guy what's your top five favorite Superman books you know uh, that sort of thing uh, so the first person I like to shout out or do a tag video in uh, is all sorts of words Ricky from all sorts of words awesome channel I know I he I, I uh, messaged him in my my I mess uh, mentioned him I can barely talk uh, I mentioned him in my last community tag video um, but, you know, he's an awesome channel. I think he deserves more support and recollection, and I think, you know, he's an awesome channel. He puts a lot of effort into his videos. Guys, go check him out. Next up, I would like to uh, tag uh, Craig over at Comics, Comedy, and Horror. Uh, he's been a nice supporter of the channel. You know, he's been throwing some nice comments uh, my way, and uh, he has a nice channel of his own. We both have a mutual loving for the character The Question from DC, so I would love to see, you know, what are your top five books of maybe question related books, doesn't have to be that, but uh, I, would, I would love to see your video. And finally, we're going to talk about one of the big, the, the big fishes, I like to throw one in like, be like a, like a bigger creator that has probably a, a lower likelihood of seeing this video, you know, uh, so Sticky Goose Comics, I like watching Sticky Goose Comics a lot, he has uh, some awesome phenomenal videos out there, and uh, yeah. If you, if you see this, I'd love to see what your top five covers of something like Spider-Man or Batman is. Uh, I would love to see. So, yeah, those are who I'm tagging, guys. Make sure you check out all the people that I mentioned. So we're going to start off here. we got a bit of a newer one, a little bit of some modern action here for you. We do have She-Hulk number one. Uh, this is from her, like, newer run. I Volume three? I don't know. Maybe volume four? I don't know. It's volume three or volume four of She-Hulk, it's her newer kind of run, 2016, I think, 2017, I don't know, I don't, I don't, I don't know the year, uh, but yeah, this is from um, Rainbow Rowell's run, it's an awesome David Nakayama cover, I think it's David Nakayama at least, uh, it's an awesome cover, uh, so yeah, I like this cover a lot, mainly, it, one thing I like is, it, this is a kind of a very specific thing to like, I like it when it, a cover has like one static image in the back, and then a character is very prominently shown in the front. So as you can see, there's just a big, just the whole background is yellow. And then it has She-Hulk right here and then the font that says She-Hulk. I like that. You, you can see the, uh, the character prominently displayed on it. It's an awesome book. It's an awesome modern book. Me personally, I'm not one for modern books, honestly. I like the older stuff, uh, specifically like the silver, bronze age kind of stuff. But I do love me the occasional modern book and this one is one of them. So yeah. She-Hulk number one. Now this is the oldest She-Hulk book that I have. Um, I do eventually want to get a She-Hulk or Savage She-Hulk number one, but that book, you know, it's an expensive book. I have one of those in my eBay cart right now, so I'm hoping to get that soon. But um, anyway, this is Savage She-Hulk number nine here. This is an awesome cover here with uh, Jen Walters and the She-Hulk kind of back to back on each other. New stand edition as well. Uh, one, I really like this one because well, one thing about the Savage She-Hulk is, as you guys know, one thing about She-Hulk, she talks a lot, she has a lot more control over her Hulk form than, like, the, like, actually the Hulk, you know? Um, and she's pretty much just herself, but, like, in Hulk form, you know? Uh, and the Savage She-Hulk, she wasn't like that. She was kind of just, like, Hulk, uh, like, but a female Hulk, pretty much. It wasn't, uh, much more than that. She eventually became her own character later on, but when she first entered her, she was pretty much just a female Hulk. And what's cool about this is you can kind of see Jen Walters, like, battling her in herself, you know, the Hulk. I can't fight her anymore. The She-Hulk is taking over. I think it's an awesome one. And uh, the old school She-Hulk is honestly displayed very prominently here. Uh, and, yeah, it's just an awesome cover. Uh, I think this is one of the better covers out there for in the Savage She-Hulk run. A lot of the covers is just her, you know, in a, in a fight scene or a battle scene. This one is more... You know, she's displayed prominently on the cover, and there's some nice colors going on. I like this one a lot. So yeah, Savage She-Hulk number 9. 
picks up right here, we do have uh, the Sensational She-Hulk number 8. Now, one of the reasons I like She-Hulk a lot is because she is a lawyer and she works a lot with the law. And I like that for a number of reasons. One, because uh, it reminds me of my mother because she's not a lawyer, but she works, she's very close in like the law system in our, she works for our like local county here in my city. And she's, she pretty much runs the whole city pretty much if I had to be honest. But uh, yeah, so she works very much like with lawyers and judges and stuff. So it reminds me of my mom. That's why I like She-Hulk a lot. And I also like just having the idea of like, you know, an actual court case being shown for like characters, you know, like uh, it puts it, it puts the Marvel Universe kind of more into perspective, you know. So I like seeing that, like I like seeing, uh, you know, characters in court and stuff like here. And this is one is kind of like that. It's a funny thing. You have Saint Nick here, like Santa Claus here. And she's like, you, you seriously like this is my client right now. I think it's an awesome cover. Uh, yeah, so she has to help out Santa Claus in this issue and she's probably displaying like on here as a lawyer and stuff it reminds me of my mom so it's close to me and uh yeah that's why i like this one a lot this is sensational she hulk number eight so this one i'm kind of cheating on a little bit because this is not a she hulk book but she hulk is pretty much the focal point of the image we have fantastic four 291 one of my personal goals is to get all the fantastic four books where she was on the team um, you know, I got a good chunk of them, but I'm uh, not not anywhere near from being done. This is an awesome Action Comics number one homage cover with her lifting the car here. One of my favorite things about Action Comics uh, homages is the guy down here. There's always a guy holding his head like, what's going on? You know, uh, that's why I just think it's kind of funny. But uh, this is an awesome shot of She-Hulk, even if it wasn't an homage. It's an awesome shot of She-Hulk showing her power, showing her strength. But because it is uh, a Superman homage, which I am a big Superman guy, you, you guys know me, I'm more of a DC guy than I am a Marvel guy. Um, so because of that, uh, I'm a big fan of this cover, Action Comics, you know me. So yeah, we have Fantastic Four 291. Alright, we're on to the last one here. Now this one, not only is it my favorite She-Hulk book, but it's also one of the favorite comic books I own in general. It's one of the biggest scores in comics, like the best deal I've ever gotten on a comic book ever. And it has like a rarity factor to it. Uh, all that culminating into why I like this book so much, but it's also just an awesome cover with uh, something I mentioned but with the first book too. This is Sensational She-Hulk number one. I have it in this little top loader here. I do not want to damage it. Uh, one thing that makes this rare is that it's a newsstand, which if you don't know, newsstands in the 90s I think only took 5% of all comic books that were printed. So finding this this book in a newsstand is exceedingly rare. And uh, this book, and it, it's in very, it's, it's a near mint book, I would say. There's barely anything wrong with this book. Um, and in in this condition, it's like fifty, sixty dollars, and I got it for two dollars. So yeah, this is one of the best comic scores I ever got. But aside from all that, it's just a cool cover. She's holding her own debut book on the cover, and she's saying, "If you don't read my book, I'm gonna come to your house and tear up all your X Men." How do you like them apples? You know, I think this is an awesome cover. And again, it goes back to the first book where it's just kind of like a static uh, color in the back, and then you have the character right in the front very prominently shown uh yeah i like this one and one thing is she's you know she's breaking the fourth wall that's one thing i like about geocalize that she breaks the fourth wall she talks to the audience a little so yeah that's all that stuff combined is is why this is my favorite she hulk book right here sensational she hulk number one and that's the video guys tell me which she hulk book i showed you today was your personal favorite if you have a favorite character let me know what your favorite covers or favorite books that you have of your favorite character is uh, the people that I tagged I would like to see a video from you guys uh, but if not just throw it in the comment section down below I'd love to hear that uh, so anyway thank you guys for watching the video subscribe if you haven't already uh, I'd love to we're getting kind of close to 250 subscribers which is a milestone of mine that's a quarter of the way to get into a thousand uh, that's, a, that's a lot of people so yeah subscribe if you haven't already follow me on Instagram link down in my description below and uh, yeah this one always guys see ya